today is San Kabal Tuk. San Kabal Tuk. Oh, the long one. Come on. Come Alright, we're gonna stir this up. Alright, I never had this before. But now I'm gonna actually try it for the first time. <laughs> so, Pond knows I normally don't eat this. But I'm gonna give it a try. The coagulated blood. My whole family likes it. Well, my in laws. Just give it a try. She chop up the jack kwai. Personally, I like dipping it like that. Should I eat the whole thing or you? Take the whole thing. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I can't describe the taste. It's like it's like jello or something. Yeah, jello. <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? Chiam. Chiam? Yeah, Dai Hoba Nam. What I mean, I thought it'd be like something. I thought it'd be like something. I gotta get some coffee, man. I'm so sleepy right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. Someone, I guess, just a uh, customer just came down, sit down, so I, I had to adjust the camera. Yeah, it's real good. Coffee, yeah. But, no, black. It's only me. It's good. I like it like this. It's a. Uh, it's not bitter. It's more on the sweet side. It tastes like chocolate. Yeah, nang. Yeah, nang ka bong plai plai. Nai hong ba ku. That's that coffee that wakes you up real quick. Ti bo nhong ma. Chom lun ma. <laughs> she came here before us, she's already done. Uh, I know it's like a thing in Cambodia, they usually uh, care, even if you finish your drink. Sorry. Even if you finish your drink, people keep it because it melts. Talk about the butt leg. But me, I'm just like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I just leave it. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah, there's a lot of people that Sapan knows in this uh, area. I mean, she grew up in there since she was a. Uh, Little kid, how old were you when you were first here in Sambiki, like with Bong Vi and stuff? Since you're like kid, right? Like maybe. But like I mentioned earlier in the video. <laughs> the holiday, for the most part, everyone's burning stuff, you know, and. I'm not sure what the meaning behind it is. Maybe you guys comment down below, like why during the holiday you got uh, in Cambodia they burn the paper. Do you know by chance why they burn the paper? Is that like get rid of the evil spirit or something? Uh, Just be guessing. represent silver, represent gold. Yeah. So so they did the cat. They burn it to send to. To the person who was die, 
to when when uh, one day uh, in their life, us and like when they come become a body, become a de they dead. So they live with the when the the family set, uh, burn uh, send the gold, send the silver, by burn something. So it show like. The person who died, they have, they rich yeah. in their life, like ghost life, nung body life, nung they rich. You mm. lot. I understand what I'm saying. Huh? I'll, I'll understand it more once I edit the video. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not gonna edit the video. But when I rewatch it. I tend to have to listen to things a few times to really fully understand it because yeah. it's a lot of it's a lot of information. So the point is, yeah. they burn the gold, the paper gold, the silver gold. I mean, uh, they burn the paper gold, the paper silver to to dedicate to the the person who was died. They become a rich. They become rich who. Oh, okay. If even they go to the hell, even they go to the heaven, but they a, a, everywhere that they go, a, everywhere that they go, they reach. Mm. You know? Yeah. Mm. So you can uh, you can do the conclusion how how what the meaning is. Sort of gla grasp that last part. And this is a, a old old custom, right? For a, for a long time. Long time and up to now. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. They mean meaning, but they. I love I love I love the fact about Cam Cambodian culture. Mm. It's a little mix of everything, to be honest. The traditions, mm. the Chinese. It her eight to say mean meaning, but they young young up mean thở ca. Uh, they uh, all all three uh, all religion they have they have their meaning. So we we have no point to laugh to make fun to them, right? No. Right. Yeah. You respect too, mm -hmm. but we just we not celebrate. Mm -hmm. We not celebrate, but we respect. I think I think right now culturally, Cambodia is like a melting pot. You know, you have so many people coming here from all over different countries and it's cool seeing that now it's mm -hmm. cool seeing how diversified cambodia is mm -hmm. with so many people traveling here choosing to stay here because of the affordability i think that's pretty dope man it makes you you know see a different perspective that people are seeing how livable cambodia is so yeah <laughs> All right, that concludes this video for real. <laughs> or should it? <laughs> yes, it does. See you guys, love you guys. If you guys haven't, like, subscribe, and share the video uh, to get, you know, YouTube to push out the content to other people like yourself. My name is Philip, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Bye-bye. <laughs>